Hi, this is Trent with Rippet Racket Stringing, and we're dealing here with the Prince CTS Extender Racket. It's a strange pattern, a 16 by 21, and the, the truly odd thing about it is the way these grommets are offset from one another. Anyway, when you're stringing this racket and you come to do the crosses, uh, it's not totally clear where you should start going over or under. And so I just wanted to make this brief video for anybody who comes across this racket. When you get to the, uh, to the crosses, um, ordinarily I like to be stringing one ahead, uh, but what you need to do on this one is to just start that first cross and if the main string is elevated, then you want to go over it. If the main string you come across is down lower, then you want to go under it. And the idea with this design is that uh, the strings are to compress the, um, the main strings. So because of this, the way this pattern works, you have some of the main strings that are high and some that are lower. And what you want the crosses to do is to go uh, over the high ones and under the low ones. And when you pull tension, it brings those strings in together. And so just showing you here the completed CTS extender. You can see here how on this main, you're starting over top because it's the one that is elevated. As the next main is low, so we go under it, and on we go. Here you can see a little bit better that you have an elevated, an elevated, and we're going over both of those. So uh, as you string this racket, it's really important that you always be pushing up the, the cross strings because they definitely bow uh, downward on this racket more than maybe any racket I've ever strung. So uh, that's the Prince CTS extender.